Hi there. I was going to show you a little bit about LCPS Go in case you haven't done this yet. I realized the other video I had given you was a little long. So go ahead to LCPS Go. Log in with your lead login and your password. You do not need to type in at lcps.org. The first screen that appears is called your app screen up at the top. This will always get you back to home. The plus button gives you takes you to the app library. Students have this as well. They can come in here and find an app that they want to work with. So they can come in here and they can click on A, B, C, Y yeah, and add it and it'll appear on their app screen. There's a little bit of control there so they can bring what they want out onto the screen. Over here you can search for a specific app if you would like. This button here, if you hover over it, tells you it's the edit mode. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Notifications, if there's anything you need to hear about. The question mark is for help and then your down arrow will get you to all of your profile information. Resetting your password, setting up password recovery, the theme, changing your background, etc. Okay. At the bottom you'll notice we have my apps but then we also have my files. If you click on my files it takes you to the web version of your H drive and our staff I drive. So here they are. So if you want to get something from home on the staff I drive in the past you couldn't get to it but now you can. So here's everything that's in the staff I drive. Okay. To get back to it, you can just close it and you come back onto the screen. To customize this screen, I know I've been walking around and a lot of you have 3,000 of these squares on your computer and I know that's exhausting to look at and there are a lot of things on there that you don't necessarily need. So I've made mine very small, you can see. So what you're going to do is you come up here and you click on the edit mode button. This slides down these buttons, even though they look grayed out, aren't. You can create a new app or a new folder. So you can create a new app. If there's something that you would like a website for you specifically, you can go ahead and take care of that on your own. Icon style, you can make them square or round. You can see if you look at LCPS services, square or round. Icon size, they can be huge, medium, or small. The font size, you can decide how big the words are going to be. They get even tinier. Themes goes back to all these different colors. You can pick if I want the background of mine to be this, then it'll change that color. If I want it to be that, it can be that, etc. I can make it gray. That's soothing. And then wallpaper, which is the background. You can always check on that, click on that, and you can pick something out of here. You can get to that also from this down arrow if you choose. Okay. So I'm not going to do that, so make that go away. I don't want the wallpaper. Themes, font size, icon, style. Okay. So now I'm going to back to create. This is what you're going to do if you want to make fewer rows on here. So you're going to come in here and you're going to click on new folder. You're going to name your folder. You can call it I'm going to call it practice folder. You can see that I have one down here on the very bottom called stuff I don't use. You can call it whatever you want. You can make that folder whatever color you want. Okay, Save your folder and you'll see now that it's popped up over here. Take any of these that you do not use, drag and drop it on top and it gets sucked in. It'll make sense once you try it. You cannot move any of them that have the little lock button next to them. So if you try, don't you even think about trying to move your Google into something that you can't use, goofballs. You can't move the ones that are locked, but there are others that you can move. Okay. Um, let's say that you put something in there by accident that you didn't want to. Let's say I put my email in there and that's crazy talk. So what I can do is I open this one up. I can rearrange things in here as well. I can drag them around. I can put something first or second. But if I decide I don't want to put this Outlook Web Access in this folder, all I have to do is come up here and click on the little arrow and that moves it back out. Okay. If I make a folder by accident and I want to get rid of the entire thing, all I have to do is on the main screen is come out here and click on delete. And boom, it's done. So I have folders. This is what I was suggesting that you all cre go in here and create a folder called grades. And everything grades can go into it. So you can find Phoenix. You can find the grading timelines. There will be four of these. 
here are the grading directions, how to transfer grades, how to grade change form. That's where my parent view lives, and that's where I put the schedules. Okay? So that's real quick in a nutshell. When you're done with that, all you do is you come up here and you click on the X. If you want to rearrange things, I'll tell you what, I don't need that in there, so I'm going to stick that in there. If there's some place you want to put something like DDI tools, that's where lead lives, I can go ahead and drag that up and drop it in between, and I can move things around. There is no save button when you're done and it is the way you want. Just click on the X and you're finished. That's it.